What's better, an open floor office plan or a cube farm? Let's see what a visit to hell can tell us. First up, let's talk about hell. Uh, you're all familiar with this fantastic place of endless torment. You've uh, heard about it in religions, you've seen it in movies, you've read about it in books and comic books, you've played it in video games. Uh, it's everywhere. And in Western traditions, in Western art, you tend to see hell depicted as a wide open space full of all sorts of chaotic, crowded activity. So your uh, heretics are being boiled alive right next to where your blasphemers are being flayed. And the demons are working shoulder to shoulder in this wide open chaotic environment. And yet, Eastern-influenced Byzantine art often depicted the damned in isolated boxes, essentially in cubes. You'll find one or two individuals crammed into a box where they're tortured, presumably by a single demon. Meanwhile, here in the real world, we stand at a crossroads between the age of the cube farm and the age of the open floor office. So let's use hell as an example as we discuss the pros and cons of each. First up, let's talk about open floored hell. What are the pros and cons of this approach to human torment? Pro, greater collaboration. Want to know the best way to force feed a glutton hot coals? Brainstorm it with your coworkers. Pro, cheaper overhead. You can cram more sinners and tormenting demons into a single space for less cost. Pro, unassigned seating means teleworking tormentors don't virtually take up space in the office. Pro, reduced internal email. You can just walk that still beating heart over to the finance department. Con, more interruptions and low productivity. In other words, you're gonna have a hard time skinning that sinner if someone keeps coming around asking you to sign Scarmiglian's birthday card. Con, suffer the solitary worker. Sure, it takes four demons to draw and quarter a sinner, but how about, a, how about an ice scooper? That's a solitary profession. Why should they have to suffer? I should also point out that a Queensland University of Technology study found that 90% of the time an open floor office plan results in stress, conflict, high anxiety, high blood pressure, and high turnover. But what about cubicle hell, the old Byzantine model? Let's look at the pros and cons there. Pro, individual expression. You can decorate the walls of your cube with whatever still bleeding skins you want. Make it feel like home. Pro, increased focus. The isolation you need for intense creative mutilation. Pro, designated workspace. That way you can leave a partially disemboweled sinner out overnight and finish it up the next day. Pro, privacy. This way if you get a personal phone call, you don't have to walk all the way out to limbo to take it. Con, reduced interaction. You're not socializing with any of your fellow tormentors. And really, when's the last time you asked Malakota about how his life is going? And finally, he's a big con, confined spaces. You have these walls of the cubicle around you, and ultimately, who's supposed to feel like the prisoner here, the sinner or the demon? Well, technically both. So which do you prefer, the isolating walls of a cubicle or the wide open spaces of an open floor plan? Let us know, we'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below, you can leave a video response, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so the flow of videos will keep coming at you.